okay we're in my bathroom now and I've got my hair cutting scissors I have some thinning shears by the way I had these other thinning shears that I used for years and years professionally but they're just too they didn't work for uh, the wig fiber so well and these I ordered from wigs by patty's pearls.com and they come like this and I like them so so much better for wig work <laughs> For synthetic fibers, they they they're 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 finer. The little um, the spaces in here are are very close together. We have a, an edge here that is straight. My other ones had this on both sides, um, and these were a little further apart. And it just I, I needed something more like this. And these work great, and they're not that expensive. So get yourself a pair if you plan on doing anything like this. So I have my um, my professional hair cutting scissors here that I will be taking off basically the length that I need. And then I'm gonna run this through, this the bottom a little bit too, so it's not heavy at the bottom. It'll blend a little better, I think. Um, there's some times when I really do want a blunt edge to if I'm trimming a wig or whatever, but I think for toppers it's better if we kind of wisp the ends out. Not a lot, but just you'll see. So that's the plan. Those are the tools needed for this little here project. And then I have my white tooth comb. This is a HD fiber. Excuse me, you're hearing uh, Loki. You're hearing Loki bark out there. I'm sorry if that uh, gets irritating. Uh, anyway, so I, you know, I still got to be careful when I am. Uh, dealing with this even though I need to make sure everything is combed out really really well so I'm going to do the bulk of the combing out with this I have this positioned right where I'm probably always going to wear it here and give and take um, and so I have it parted where where it's going to go and everything so as you can see if you looked at my hair here's where my hair is my hair in the front it's going to take a long time still it's getting there but i have quite a bit of layers through here um and uh, it's not gonna to to match perfectly but that's okay because sometimes i just tuck tuck my own hair kind of behind my ear anyway it's gonna have to be okay so now to give myself an idea of how much i need to do in the back I'm going to ignore that for now and I'm just going to concentrate on what I'm going to be doing here in the sides. You're also going to need a little clip of some sort because you're not going to want to cut through the bulk of this in one fell swoop. You're going to want to section it out just a little bit to give you a little guide that you can continue to cut and use. But for now, I'm just going to kind of section this back uh, out of the way. I also have a comb like this. Now I'm going to be really careful, but I need something that's really going to um, kind of get every little one out. Um, combing and combing and combing again is crucial when you're trimming your own wigs. Uh, you got to make sure the hairs are all out. You got to make sure they're laying where they need to be because there is no room for error, unfortunately. So now, you know, I could even maybe take a smidge. Do I need that? I can maybe take this one out for now just so I can have a little bit of a guide. I just want to be able to see through so I can see where my hair is. I'm not wanting to guess or anything. Okay, I put I put my little cape on because I don't want to I don't want to get these little fibers on my clothes and oh they're horrible. They're so straight and and picky and not good. So uh, you're gonna hear the rustling of this through this it's gonna be annoying but okay so I want to be able to see what I'm doing here combing this straight down so I can see where I'm gonna trim that I'm not gonna pull too tight down I want to kind of give this a little bit of room to where it's going to give a true illusion as to where this hair is going to be so I don't want to pull this really tight and then cut it if you do that make sure you allow yourself about a quarter of an inch longer than you think you need so I'm just going to really lightly 
kind of let it fall where it's gonna. And this is where I'm gonna take my very first little trim is right here. I'm taking at a, at a little bit of an angle, um, but I'm gonna take it right, right about there. And I'm going to take my scissors and cut that and cut that right off. Okay, so now we have our first little cut. Yay! So I'm not gonna thin anything quite yet. I just kinda wanna get the, uh, the length where I need it. So I'm gonna grab it, let it do its thing. If it wants to curl under, I'm gonna allow it to do that. Take that and trim. Okay, so we have that. Okay, I'm going to now bring this piece down and I'm just going to kind of push it up, see where it's going to be. We have just a tiny, tiny little bit here. I'm going to grab it right there. I'm not going to pull it tight or anything. I'm just going to grab it right there and cut that off. So, perfect, yay. I'm gonna take a little more, see what we got here. Still a little heavy. I don't wanna take that big of a commitment when I trim. So I'm gonna take some of that up and I'll clip it to this side. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down. Hold the topper so you're not pulling your own bio hair. And if you cannot see where you cut, take, take some more hair away. You always want to see that guide. That's kind of hair cutting rule 101. You always want to see that guide and only take out as much as you're comfortable with. If you're like, God, that's a lot of hair, I don't know. Take out just a little strand at a time. Take your time. Just like, okay, okay, we got that. And that looks good. Take the next piece. Let it fall where it's going to fall. Pick it up a little bit. If that's how you style your hair. Take it, even if it's the tiniest little piece, do it a s little bits at a time. You'll be much more successful and it won't be quite so uh, scary for you. You're not being timed. Don't, definitely don't do something like this. Definitely don't do something like this when you, you really are st strapped for time. You wanna take your time uh, for something like this. Okay. Now, I have not ventured in the back. Something tells me I'm going to need about that much, but um, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Okay, so that is really the length that I'm going to trim this. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, if we can compare, you can see kind of what we did here. And see, it. we took it slow. We took tiny little sections and that's that's gonna work out for you it's gonna be great you're gonna be fine just remember some things that that we don't think about is when you're looking in the mirror if you're doing angles you have to make sure that you're getting your angle right you know obviously you're not gonna want to cut this in an angle that's not gonna work and just kind of visualize it and be like okay that's about what I want and then cut cut it off right there um, so Again, cut it a little longer than you think you need. All right, so before I go over this with a little bit of thinning shears at the ends of these, I wanna get this side cut, caught, caught up, caught, caught up. Okay, so let's get this side caught up before I do any kind of thinning, um, thinning shear work here at the ends, because we're not gonna do much. We're just gonna just do it just a little tiny bit. And maybe when I'm done, I won't wanna do that. I don't know, we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, so again, I am going to take this bulk of the hair out of my way. 
And we are going to do this in little sections. Little sections, enough to where we can get a little start and go from there. Oh, Jill. Okay, I'm just going to kind of stick this back here. Get it out of the way, however works for you. Okay. Double check, <laughs> make sure your topper's on straight, it is. Okay, so we, we have, I'm gonna even take out a little bit less. I just, I feel like I see too much topper and not enough of where my own hair is. So I'm just gonna even take a smaller section there. Okay. Now I'm gonna be using really this side as the guide, so. I'm going to kind of let it fall where it's going to. I'm going to take it about right here. I'm angling my scissors the whole time. Not cutting straight across, I'm angling my scissors. You kind of have to look straight on, find the center of your face, bring the hair to that very center point. Your goal is to get each one, you know, meeting up right there in the center. So that's what our goal is. Okay, I'm gonna angle, angling my fingers, hold on turning my scissors around. So I'm angling now. I'm angling my fingers and I'm angling my scissors. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna cut that right away. So I've maintained, I didn't cut it right up to my fingers. I wanted to see where I was going with that. So, okay, that looks good so far. So we're checking that center mark, that center mark, that center mark. I feel like that's pretty good. So now I'm going to take down a little bit more hair. We can always make adjustments later if we need it to be a little shorter. That is an easy thing to do. Okay, remember comb, comb, comb. Kind of let the fibers do what they're gonna be doing. And if you cannot see where you cut the last time, take less hair so you can see that first guide because that's gonna help you. That, that first guide is gonna help you. Okay, so I see the guide. I'm gonna take it right about here and I'm gonna cut that off. I'm going to take some more, just a little bit at a time. Take only amount that you're comfortable with. Do you see the guide through there? See that guide? That's what you want. You only want to take enough hair so you can still see that last cut that you did and you won't have to guess. If you feel like you're guessing, don't cut the hair. It's like, well, I'm hoping this is right. Oh, no, no, you've got to know. You've got to see that guide. Okay, let's keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We're getting there, you guys, we're getting there. This, of course, is the heavier side because I have it all parted to that direction. Okay, so do you see? Do you see that right where we need to cut right there? Let's just kind of make sure that I'm not forcing it to go there. I don't know if you can see that. 
You see that? That's where we're going to cut. So I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to grab it. And if I look at, if I can, if I look at it from here, because it's at a, a length that I can do this, I can see where I need to cut. So, but if you pull it toward you, make sure that you're not messing up where you really do need to cut. So that, that's really important too. And it's kind of the tricky part of um, when you, when you start cutting your own hair. You know the part about that I hate the most about cutting my own hair? The mess. I hate picking up hair. Okay. Looking straight on, making sure. I feel like I could cut a little teeny bit, a little teeny bit off right here. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm kind of holding my topper. Definitely take your time, mess with it, make sure it's kind of where it needs to be. I'm just gonna kind of do this so I can see what's happening here. Yeah, because I'm gonna I'm gonna end up having to cut probably that off, but let's get this done first. Okay. All right, I, I feel like I got the sides done. Okay, so now I do want to kind of, uh, I'm going to get hair all over you when you do this. I hate this part because you can't work with these wet. You have, you have, I hate dry cutting hair. It goes everywhere. It's going to get on my makeup. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this in sections. I'm going to do about a one inch section. I'm going to bring it toward me. And I'm gonna thin about one inch up. Can, I'm gonna do the angle though that I need. I'm not gonna go straight across. I'm gonna still go in this angle. I'm gonna go about an inch up and just do a, one little trim there. I'm gonna go an inch back, leave this hair, go an inch back, comb it forward, and I'm gonna still go in this angle about an inch or so back dragging it out combing out the excess hair gonna go back another inch combing straight down bringing it forward I'm gonna go I'm going at an angle so it's about an inch back and then I think I'm actually gonna tip this one I'm gonna go kind of cut into it a little bit so see see what it does it, it kind of breaks that up a little bit and uh, makes it just a little less blunt. Comb it through, take another inch, bring it down about an inch. Sorry guys, I'm not in the right. And I'm gonna do this, comb it through. I'm gonna go about one more inch back. I am sweating, you guys. Okay, now let's deal with the back. Here is the hair that we've trimmed and thinned, pretty much. Okay, so let's look at the back of this. Okay. You know, it's not too far from being okay, I would say about an inch would probably do it. Mm 
Yeah, I'm going to say about that. So we are going to remember this right here. This is the amount we're going to remember because I'm going to put this on my, my big wig head and I'm going to trim it on that because it's too hard to do that. Um, if it's my own hair, I cut it all the time in the back, but I want to make sure I'm being extra careful. So let me get that mounted right here and we will trim the back of this baby. This is what I'm using. I got this off Amazon and I got this off Amazon. This is a suction cup that suctions to your countertops, works very, very well. And then this of course has a hole and it just sits right in here. It doesn't prevent it from not turning. That's a little annoying, but it gives me a pretty good um, way to do these things. Now this is really embarrassing, you guys. I ordered this when I was fresh and new. I had no idea that these came in different sizes, so I just ordered the one that showed. This is a 23 inch head. I have a 21 inch head. So <laughs> if <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that would not think of this. But just in case, when you order these, make sure you order the right size. If you're a 21 inch circumference, get a 21 inch one of these. So yeah, anyway. So I'm gonna secure this to my counter, which is a little lever here on the side that secures it. So I'm gonna do that and it is really secure. And I'm gonna put this on. This obviously is the back of the head. Is there a way that I can get you to see this? I'm looking around for the topper and it's on my head. Great pins to secure to the, to the head that have the little pearls on the ends. And I wanna show you where you're going to only pin through. Do you see the clips? Do you see the little, um, the little circles here on the side? That's where your pin's gonna go through. You never ever wanna pin through the lacing um, at all. So those little holes there, or it's somewhere you know, within this clip area, but um, preferably if you can manage to get one through these little holes, that's what you're supposed to use. So let me, there's just no way for me to show you this, I don't think. Okay. Okay, so I have this on the topper. I realized that I'm probably not gonna be able to film this part of it, um, but there's a center line in the head. You have to make sure that you've lined up the topper so it is center, so you know that you are center because that's gonna be so crucial when you go to trim this in the back because especially when you're trimming, it's not so crucial, of course, if you're just styling, but if you're trimming, you really need to make sure both of these things are straight and that is crucial. I can't, I can't express that enough or you're gonna be so crooked. You're gonna put it on and it's gonna be wrong. Okay, so keeping in mind the proper place that you are gonna put the pins, you need to really very securely put it on your head. So I'm gonna do that right now. Again, I use these uh, straight pins that have the little pearls on the ends. They're easy to get back out again. I don't really like the the T pins. I, I don't. I don't know. I just. I, I feel like I just don't like them. I haven't. I don't know. I just don't like them. So I know you're not going to see this at all, unfortunately. But I'm going to secure this now to this head making sure that it's very, very straight. And how I do that is just like I would do if it was on my head. I line up these two clips and I keep in mind the center of this head is that center stitch line. That would be like where the nose would be. So I'm just being really careful to line that up. And then I'm gonna take my straight pin and I'm going to pin it through that clip. If you don't make it directly in one of those holes, it's okay, just make sure you get it somewhere in that clip and not in the lacing, um, you know, the, the material of any kind of the wig. And I'm also gonna kind of pull it down a little bit, like I do if it's on me. Now, I'm not gonna be able to unfortunately show you as I'm doing this because I don't have anybody here to help me film this. And this is no longer on a full tripod anymore. I have it on more of a tabletop version. So I don't have any way of doing this and I, I didn't think about that before I started. 
but I have this on here now very securely. I combed everything down really nicely. There's no hairs going in ways they're not supposed to. I have her looking straight in the mirror. That way I know that I am got her straight and it is definitely straight on the head itself. That's so important. Now, if you remember, I visually saw that I'm gonna need to cut about this much off in the back. Where am I? Where am I? There we go. I saw that I'm gonna need to really probably cut about this much here off the back all the way around. So that's simply what I'm gonna do. And it's fine enough where I feel I don't need to really section the hair off but if you do feel like you should, definitely do. Do it just like we did the sides and section each little side until you see the guide and go from there. But um, I'm gonna do this and then when I'm done doing this, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take little tiny sections and I'm just going to thin the very bottom edges so they aren't quite so blunt. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Okay, so I, I finished doing that. I actually have not thinned the edges yet because I just want to see uh, what it looks like first before I take the thinning shears to it because the ends are, are very fine, you know, down there anyway. So I haven't done that yet. Where's the other one? Here it is. These are so much easier to fish out than those T-pins, um, I find. hair sticking to my face. Whew. Okay. I think, what do you think? I think it worked pretty nice. Um, you know, a lot of times I tuck this, so I always have to make sure I have a little bit of hair here. Um, so yeah, I, let me, the big test though is let's see what the back looks like. Let's look at that. What do you guys think? I think that's gonna be good. I don't know, it'll allow me maybe a tiny little bit of growing room in my own hair. And if my hair grows longer by a little bit, that's fine. It's just that right now, I don't want it to be too much shorter. Uh, you know? I don't want it to be too much shorter, but what do you guys think? I think, I think that's good. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop there <laughs> and uh, just uh, thank the, the hair gods, the old and the new, that this time I didn't flub it up. Yay. Anyway, okay. That is it. Okay, I feel like the, uh, yeah, I feel like the hair cutting part went well. Yay. <laughs> So now I gotta figure out exactly how in the world um, I'm gonna work in those extensions. So.